This is one of the jaw-dropping geometry questions that you will struggle to solve, but love the solution. We have a quadrilateral whose all four sides are given to us. This is 30, this is 72, then this is 84, and this is 90 units. We are also given that this is a right angle. Our job is to find the area of this quadrilateral. So, can you solve it? Okay, after looking at the right angle, what is the first thing that comes to our mind? It's the Pythagoras theorem, right? So, in order to use the Pythagorean theorem, we will connect these two points and make this line, and let us label this as h. Then we have h square equals 30 square plus 72 square. Now, to make it simpler, we can rewrite 30 as 6 times 5 whole square and 72 as 6 times 12 whole square. So, it will become 6 square times 5 square plus 6 square times 12 square. Now take 6 square as common to make it 6 square times 5 square plus 12 square. This will become 25 plus 144 or 169, which is 13 square. Thus, h square equals 6 times 13 whole square or 78 square. Therefore, h equals 78. That was noise. Now how can we calculate the area of this quadrilateral? Let us label this triangle as 1 and this triangle as 2. So the area of this quadrilateral will be equal to the area of this triangle 1 plus the area of this triangle 2, isn't it? Area of this triangle 1 is easy to calculate because it is a right triangle, and thus its area will be this height, or 72 times this base, or 30 divided by 2, or 72 times 15, which is 1,080 square units. Now, we just have to find the area of this triangle too, and we are done. We know all the three sides of this triangle, so how can we find its area? We will use the Heron's formula, which looks like this, where S is the semi-perimeter, and A, B, and C are the sides of this triangle. Now, for this triangle too, let A equals 78, B equals 84, and C equals 90 units. So, A plus B plus C equals 78 plus 84 plus 90, or 252. And thus, the semi-perimeter will be 252 over 2, or 126. Great! Now let us use this formula. We have S as this, then S minus A equals 126 minus 78, or 48. Then S minus B equals 126 minus 84 or 42. Finally, S minus C equals 126 minus 90 or 36. Thus, multiplying all of them gives this. We can rewrite 126 as 21 times 6, and 6 can be written as 3 times 2. Now, 48 can be written as 3 times 16 and 16 can be written as 4 square. Then 42 can be written as 21 times 2, and this 36 can be written as 6 square. So, look here. These two will become 21 square, then these two will become 3 square, then these two will become 2 square. So we have a perfect square here. It will be 21 times, 3 times, 2 times 4 times 6 whole square, or 3,024 whole square. Thus, the area will be square root of it, or 3,024 square units. Therefore, the total area of the quadrilateral will be equal to 1,080 plus 3,024, or 4,104 square units. And that's it. Let me know in the comment if you were able to solve it on your own, and also, don't forget to like and share this video. So good!